Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about linear regression. I'm going to explain with what it is. I'm going to go through the various terms associated with a linear regression analysis. And then I'm going to have an example that I'm going to go through step by step in terms of the calculations to show that it's actually not really that very difficult to perform a linear regression analysis and to gain really in-depth insight into what it's doing. So let's get started. So the outline of this presentation, linear regression, what is it? What is its purpose? Scatter plots and regression line, regression equation. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about the slope, the intercept, and the error term, or also known as the residual. All three of these terms form uh, the regression equation. And then I'm going to go through an example. So linear regression, what is it? It's an extension of the Pearson correlation. And I'm going to assume that you already know what a Pearson correlation is in this presentation. It has three terms, an intercept, a slope, and an error term. It helps us make predictions, that is, build models. And that's why linear regression is so useful. Here's an example of a scatter plot based on some fictitious data that I prepared. But it's based on what I would expect to observe in, in reality. And it's exhibiting a positive correlation between the variable stress and the number of colds and flu somebody experiences. So let's suppose somebody uh, measured stress levels in, in, in people, 12 people over here, uh, for a month to figure out if they were going through a stressful period in their life, and then measured the number of colds that they experienced over the following year. OK, so on this axis, actually, I'll go to the next. This is called the x-axis here. So the number of colds, uh, the levels of stress that were measured uh, is on the x-axis, and the number of colds is on the y-axis. And each person has two scores. So this person here had a score of 10 for colds and had one uh, for stress, sorry, and then it had one cold over the year. This person also had a uh, stress score of 10, but had zero colds during the year. And then all the way up here, we have someone who had a stress score of almost 50, and 50 colds and flus, I think I called it. And this exhibits a positive correlation. And it's represented by something called a regression line. And this regression line, uh, forms the is the outcome of the basis of a linear regression analysis and in particular the regression equation and what this line is trying to do is it's trying to be placed whoops it's trying to be placed within uh, the scatter plot in such a way as to minimize the distance between the observations in the data this line here, which is the regression line, also known as the line of least misfit, uh, is placed in such a way uh, that it cannot be improved. And I could give you an example. This line here is an alternative regression line that kind of mimics the, the uh, angle at which the scores are increasing from stress and colds. But it's only closer to two observations here. All the remainder observations are much further away, on average, than this really good line, regression line. And that's what linear regression is doing. It's trying to build this line, but it's trying to do it analytically, rather than simply trying to observe this scatter plot and trying to figure out, well, where would we put the line of least um, misfit? Statisticians don't have rulers and try to figure it out on a chart like this. They try to figure it out analytically with numbers. And once you have those numbers, you have a regression equation, and you can help predict the future, hopefully. And that's the purpose of it. Now here's another example of a regression line uh, that is negatively sloped. Uh, and this is a negative correlation it's exhibiting a negative regression effect or a negative correlation and it's a, it's between stress and hours of sleep we'd expect as stress levels increase 
the number of hours that people are sleeping on average is going to be lower. Now here's a, an example 